As you may notice, we're not in the office. We're outside to taste this. This is history in a glass. This is science. This is human achievement. And this is the latest marketing gimmick from Brewdog. Dog. There's an old story to do what is off a Scottish coast at Kirst. You see, a long time ago, a beer fisherman bid with his wife over at Wee Village. He was an ordinary fisherman, but his wife was a witchy kind of wifey. Every day, the fisherman would leave his house to go fishing. His wife would go to the water's edge and leave for the witchy wifey's day to get her man lock when there was a fishing. It didn't matter fit much if she tried, her man still didn't catch enough fish. It wasn't her magic, it wasn't working. It's because her husband spent every day in the boat drinking ale. Well, his wife wasn't half a shoot at it, because the ancient witches didn't understand and get a bit insane. Next day he was away to sea, she put a course in the coastline, so that if ever tried to come ashore, a storm would come up and the boat would sink. The beer fisherman was never here to again. Folks say it for the worst storm had the coast, it's just the beer fisherman trying to get ashore to fill his bottles. The only way to calm a storm is to throw a bottle of ale into sea. In an attempt to permanently break this curse, the guys at Brewdog have a plan with a very special type of magic. The Brewdog beer are so mystical that just a few drops can calm as stormy as the seas. But just to play safe, they're going to pretend more than just a few drops. This tank is going to house the world's first ever beer to be fermented under the sea. We infused it with sea buckthorn. They're like little orange things, they're pretty harsh tasting. These salts are distilled from water we got from the beach just this morning. Every sailor likes these from. This beer is going out in the sea, it's going under the ocean. It's going to be treated like a sailor. We've got the unfermented wort in here, we've got the yeast in here. We're going to over pitch it to try and get a fast fermentation and get the bitch into the sea. I say we, I'm, I'm not doing too much Martin's doing it as usual. Captain's so excited, he can barely contain himself. To have 80% water, 20% of me is going to have to swim. It's so cold out there that to ferment our IPA we had to use a lager yeast. Then we had a special non-return valve so the CO2 could escape but the salt water wouldn't get back in. Man in the moon, kind of good. They did well. Mobile phones, handy. Beer fermented at the bottom of the ocean takes human achievement to a whole new level. I'm expecting a phone call from, what is it you win if you're clever? Blind date. <laughs> <laughs>